Hello, welcome to BusyPing.com. My name is Arun Nair. In the last two videos, I showed you how to install Hyper-V Server 2012 Core on VMware Workstation 10. And I also showed you how to install VMware tools for Hyper-V Server 2012 Core inside VMware Workstation 10. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the TCP IP settings for Hyper-V Server 2012 Core. And also I'll show you how to change the computer name for Hyper-V Server 2012 Core and add it to a domain. Okay, so let's get started. So I go into the config.cmd tool and if you see the option 8 is network addressing. So I'm going to select option 8, hit enter. I can see there is just one network adapter and uh, the index number for the network adapter is 11. So I'm just going to enter 11. And if you see the IP address is 10.0.0.28, this is the IP address acquired automatically uh, from my Soho router through DHCP. So I'm going to set it to static anyway. So I'm going to select 11. That's the index number for the network adapter for which I want to change the IP address, right? So now it gives me a bunch of options. Option number one is set network adapter address, which is basically the IP address, set DNS servers, clear DNS server settings, return to main menu. So I'm going to select one Net set a network adapter address. So it's asking is it DSGP or static? So I'm going to select S for static. Enter the static IP address. So I'm going to enter the IP address 10.0.0.22. And uh, the submit mask, it's the default for 10.0 is 255.0.0. So if you just leave it blank and hit enter, it takes the same. Now the default gateway will be 10.0.0.11. Right, so the IP address, submit mask and default gateway have been set. Now I'm going to set the DNS server address. So to set DNS server address, select option number two, which is set DNS server, DNS servers. So the preferred DNS server, I'm going to type as 10.0.0.11. So it says preferred DNS server set. Okay. And set alternate DNS server. I'm not going to set anything. I'm going to leave it blank so that it's none. Okay, excellent. So if you go to command prompt now and type IP config, you see the IP address submit mask and default gateway are set. If you type IP config slash all, you'll see the IP address submit mask default gateway and you also see the DNS server address here. All right. So I'm going to go back to the main menu now. So I go into the sconfig cmd. If you see option number four, return to main menu. So I tap four and hit enter. I'm back to the main menu. So the next step is renaming the computer, changing the computer. So the option to change the computer name is two. So I'm going to type two, hit enter. So it's ask enter the new computer name. So I'm going to enter the computer name as hyper v02. You must restart your computer to apply these settings. Restart now, yes. So it's restarting. I'll pause the video and uh, come back as soon as the computer back, gets back on. All right, so the server has rebooted successfully and I have logged back in. Now I'm going to show you how to join this Hyper-V Core uh, server to the domain. All right, so uh, for that, just go to the sconfig.cmd tool and select option number one, which is domain or workgroup. So it's asking join domain or workgroup DRW. So I'm going to select D for domain. And name of the domain, it's bp.local. Specify an authorized uh, username. So it will be bp slash administrator. And I'm going to select enter the password. Now it is actually asking, do you want to change the computer name before restarting? So I'm going to say no because I've already changed the computer name. But if you haven't changed, the computer name then this is a good idea because you can avoid two restarts you know you can avoid one additional restart so i'm going to select no so you must restart your computer to apply these settings restart now it means that it has successfully joined to the domain so i'm going to click yes and it's restarting okay so the computer is restarted and back on after adding it to the domain so let me go ahead and log in to the BP domain using a domain account. Okay, so for that, I can just click back and other user. So it says sign into BP. So that's a good sign, which means it shows that it's already joined the domain. So I'm going to use a domain account, which is Arun Nair. 
and bingo so that is it so this is how you can install and configure hyper-v core uh, windows 2012 r2 version on a vmware workstation all right i hope you enjoyed the video uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a wonderful day